Oh. <laughs> I'm not interested. I don't want to do this. You have to. I can't. We have a well, guest, okay, Marissa. Yeah, Marissa? Why you feel? I don't have anything to share. We're doing it again. And I want you to do it with feeling. I'm not in a good mood. You're I was sad up all and night. tired. I understand that, but I don't care. Gutters okay? and I were into it and all neither night do long. our listeners. Oh. Let's try it again from the from the get-go. Hold on one second. Let me just think. What would Matt LeBlanc do? What? If he showed up at work and he wasn't okay. feeling good, he would still. You mean on an episodes? A plus performance. <laughs> or are you talking about old friends? I'm talking about friends. Cocaine. No, what? Lex? I'm just trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. We haven't introduced you yet. Hold on. Ready? Oh, wait, no, you're Alexa, Go. We're recording. Oh, oh, she's doing the intro. Please, can you just do it for me or no. with me? Of course, <sighs> always. Wop up the jams, wop up up. I have had a tough night, and I'm really down about humanity. I'm not sure if I want to continue living in this this earthly realm. You like that? You're going to kill yourself? Maybe. That's where we're starting this podcast? You're not sure if you want to continue living in this earthly realm. What are the other realm opportunities? Spiritual realm? Spiritual realm. I don't know, man. You know what? My I thought, and I have long thought, that Gutters and I, Eric, I'm talking about Eric Gutterman, a.k.a. Gutter Balls. Alexa, you know him. No, I know him. The AV geek. He's hilarious. The one With who me. looks like a terrorist. Okay. Anyway, I have long thought we were meant for each other, but we got into it last night, all night, about our issues. And you know what? Sometimes... You have a soulmate, but it's not meant to be. I cannot move past his blocks, his walls. Mm -hmm. We were having this conversation in my room without walls, Mm -hmm. on my arrow bed with the hole on it, and Mm -hmm. we kept deflating, and we would end up on the floor, and I'm like, and here we are again. That's not his fault. Metaphorically on the floor. Anybody that stays around for an all-night fight is in it to win it, okay? The fact that nobody left... It was a voluntary situation. He was in your Harry Potter closet, right? Yeah, he was. And he didn't leave? No, but he... I mean, am I ever going to get him to acknowledge what's holding us back? He can't be with you right now. Why? Because he is a teacher at this school. Oh, give me a break. I'm 47 years old at this point. Nobody knows. You don't know. I do know. How old am I? We're the same age. You're 19. Am I? Yes. But that Chickawa woman said I was like you had this many soul. many moons. Yes, that's your soul. My soul is like forty seven years the old, but I am nineteen. No, Ugh. your soul is like four hundred and seventy years old. I'm gonna fucking move to a reservation. I gotta get off. I gotta get off this. I, you know what? I thought this is what it is. The two years we were away, mm-hmm. when you ba Baracus me, and we were traveling around the world and living with those Bedouins, doing it's a like whole a red tent it's less situation. Than a year and a half. Fine. I changed. I'm back, and this bitch is better than ever, and he's afraid of my strength and my power. Mm. And you know, what would Beyonce do? Make an album about it. Interesting. Think about it. You want to introduce our guest? All right. Hey, you know what? I'm actually really glad because this is a girl that's not afraid to go there. We've got here in the studio a very, very infamous student at Marina Del Rey Public High School. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Her name's Alexa Crabble. You've heard She's, of her. They call her Lexi. They call her Lex. Lex depending her on Alex. who you're talking to. Sometimes she lives as a man. Sometimes she lives as a woman. Sometimes she comes to school in like a loose-fitting tuxedo. I did that one time because of my surgery, but that's not always my look. But I love that you guys are saying that everybody – do I truly get called a lot of different names? Yes. Yeah, depending on, like, if you're talking to the tennis girls, they call you Lex. If you're talking to the druggies, they call you Alex. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's so flattering to me because I knew that I was known, you know, just because of – I thought mostly because of modeling and my looks and stuff, but I didn't know that everybody – so people like me who don't necessarily just want to sketch me? Well, People like me for more than that? People do want to sketch you. And also, I do want to revisit the fact that you were a maiden form model mm-hmm. when you were 12. I was. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. I was. You were modeling 
Yeah. Adult and, women's bras, the the eight the eighteen hour bra as yeah. a twelve year old. That's yes. a Playtex yes. product. Yes. Well, well I got okay, Playtex. I'm sorry, I didn't no, realize. But also she was a maiden for him. You were you were modeling bras at that I young didn't even age. Know exactly. I didn't know who who the brand was, what the brand was. I just uh-huh. did it. It was something that my dad was really into me doing. And so he was super supportive. And I got a lot of it I think is because my womanhood, the scent of womanhood was on me like like when I was like I got my period when I was five, which is super early. Wow, for that that's is real early. early. Really Are you drinking early. a lot of milk really early. of hormone free? This is the kind of stuff. I'm I don't so glad we have save her. it for a spotlight. Yeah, though. because she's ready to go yeah. deep. I grew always. up in Dubai. Or go home. I grew that up in Dubai. Is, she grew up. You grew up, grew up in, in Dubai. Dubai. Before yeah. Dubai was Dubai. Yeah, it wasn't Dubai. Dubai, Kansas. Dubai, Kansas. Oh, I thought you meant. Um, no, United I'm Italian. Arab Emirates. I'm Italian, though. I'm Italian. Well, that you can tell. Yeah, with yeah, your skin. Yeah, allora. I I went. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go in and out of Italian to you guys. That's it's okay. Nice that it's, happened uh, to Madonna when she lived in London and and Gwyneth too. They got a they got English the, accents. in and out of those right. British I know. Accents. I know. That's so funny because Madonna. You know, I'm. Never mind, I'll tell you later. What I hate. I don't want to get into like who I'm. No, the matter, rumor is matter. she's your godmother. Is that correct? Yeah, but that's also just because of our our. We have a she. We share a organ. We share an, an internal organ. Oh. You guys, it's such a long story. I feel stupid getting into it now. Okay, you gave, okay. You gave her I want to get into that. You yeah. gave her an organ or you have one of hers? We're sharing one right now. Like she needed half of it. I We both needed the whole one, but we want to be connected. It's so dumb and long. And I wanted, it's so stupid. Okay, it's like I we can't, just wanted God, to be. this is like so many things. I got to write it down. I don't really know how to write anymore, but I'm just going to draw a picture of what looks like a liver. Uh-huh. Um, that's we'll exactly come back to it. That looks exactly like. Okay, there's a liver there, and then mm-hmm. there's Madonna. I'm going to do a, a cross to remind me of Madonna. Madonna this is like a livers. rebus, right? Is that what that is? When rhombus. You do a rhombus. You know, when you do when you say I, like a picture of an I C. You know, no. a picture of the C U, oh. and a picture of a sheep. It's oh, called a rebus. That's what they do for deaf people. Exactly. You were also deaf, right, when you were born? I don't think that's right. I was right. Down syndrome when I was born. <laughs> okay. I used to be Downs. <laughs> so I'm not going to draw a picture of that. Um, okay, so that's who we got coming up. The One of our most fascinating students, and I'm just, as I said before, I'm so glad because I'm not interested in being around women who won't go there, okay? This Ugh. is my authentic self, <clears throat> yeah. okay? Come as you are yeah. to the Womp It Up mm-hmm. podcast or don't come at all. Okay? That yeah. is so brave. The only man I'm letting in this room is the male part of me. Oh. That lives with inside of me. Okay. I was actually going to say my real dad. <gasps> If he ever were to decide to come on to this podcast. But otherwise, I'm going to have all women because I'm not interested. <gasps> mm. You've not, you know, your real dad? We're going to have to do some work. I don't know who my real dad is. Do you not really? I can tell you if you give me some of your spit. Oh, like an ancestry. Like a 23andMe type of situation? No, I can just taste it. Huh. You have that ability to. Yeah, to- I've done it for this girl one time. And I, you may know her. You know, do you know Louis Lord? Of course I know Louie Lord. Okay, well, I tasted her spit, and it She's turned out— She's a porn actress. Yeah. Did you know that? She, she ended now. up doing— Yeah, softcore porn. That yeah, was the I whole thing. She she shocked, left, she, by the way, she has a lot porn. of real estate holdings. Did you know that? She's no. She's making— Because she's making about 100 films a, uh, a year, and she's oh, putting no. all that money. She's buying up all this uh, oceanfront real estate. Mm-hmm. She's smart. Again, smartest way to invest. do porn. Do whatever you need to do to be in control of your business. Absolutely. Because ain't got nothing going on but the rent. Mm. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. You got to get a J-O-B to get with if me. you want to be with me. It's a good reference. No romance without finance. Okay? I'm swing choir. All right. And that's the thing. Gutters has a job, I guess. <gasps> but why well, am I always at, paying? He works at this school. Whatever. All right, we got to get into hot topics. Guys, i got to get an attitude adjustment. This isn't fun to listen to. It's all right. right. It's where you are. It's, it's your authentic oh. self. I think your voice is hard to listen to, but what you say isn't. <laughs> Thank you, Alexa. Know that. Thank you, Alexa. What am I supposed to call you? I don't know. Lex, whatever comes out? Call me Sam. <laughs> what is this? And what are you t- Is this hot topics? What? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. This seems more like... Um, if you're going to take a slow, easy shit, this is the kind of thing you play on your iPod. Just let it go. I, had I don't need music for that. Shit. I don't. prefer silence. 
Well, you know, this Diane, is an amazing song. my stepmom had a whole surround sound system placed in our bathroom like for a, that exact thing. A Sonos? Yeah. I yeah. Love that. Yeah, Sonos type of so you to can help choose. you go to the bathroom. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, uh, Liz, what's going on? Hot topics. Let's let's hear about you. Let's about turn me? the yeah. Let's turn the let's turn the tables on you. All right. The focus. I uh, haven't been sleeping a lot. Mm. Um, uh, wedding, Why not, Liz? Wedding's back on. What? Wedding is back on. Where did you found him? No, Alexa. Uh, just so you know, just to catch up. Yeah. Listler, ha- you remember that Seven Eleven that just shut down? Oh, I, I didn't know. Yeah, it shut at down, we- but okay. yes, at Washington and uh, Lincoln. Uh huh. Yeah, uh-huh. that's. That is um, the owner of that 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 little Middle Eastern guy, Kareem, yeah, yeah. who would always scream at us and stuff like that when but we go in. But would sell you stamps when you're not supposed to sell stamps. Exactly. Yeah, I know exactly. What They're you're engaged. About. All yeah. for the better. Oh, he disappeared. We thought he has another family. Whatever. We were, back. and then okay. we weren't, and then we were. But you know, whatever. Love, love will triumph. So I'm going forward with planning of the wedding, cool. and I'm going to go find him, and I'll bring him back. Wait, by so you the say? I'm sorry. Okay, so I assumed you two had physically seen each other. You've just decided it's back him. on? I haven't seen him. I have people that have seen intel about his possible whereabouts. And you're so gonna we're getting get closer. Him. So I'm going to go get him. Right. Good for you. That's exactly <clears throat> the kind of can-do spirit that I want to encourage. Yeah. Why? Don't wait for somebody to say your engagement is back on. Go find him. Mm-hmm. And force it to happen. Did he ever, when, I'm just curious, and if it's too personal, please say so. Um, but when you guys were together, was he ever, like, let's say you went towards him, was he like, go, go, get away from me or get off of me? Or I don't, or was, was there anything about you that made him feel sick? No. Ever. So he never was like, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't want anything to do with it. Wow, you. that accent is really, really good. Really well, I just spent time I, well, in Dubai. I also, yeah, I was in Dubai and I'm also, Kansas. I was in, I did a lot of building schools in Hindi places. Really? In America or? No, in, no, there's no Hindi places in America. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't be so rude. But no, no. Yeah, well, I just, Hindi I'm places. So, in the, the, well, you do a lot no. in your summers, which I, I can't in, wait to get into. I was in Calcutta. It doesn't, it's not about, about me, but that's how I, that's why, where I got my arms from. Okay. In Calcutta, got you it. Because I didn't have any arms. What? For like five years. I'll no. tell you later. I'll tell you later. Um, I thought you meant you have multiple arms like the God Ganesh. Oh, no, but I've seen that. It's gross. Um, so you, so you, nothing. Well, why did it break off? Why do you think he left? Do you have any theories? He at all? didn't leave. I did. Oh, I had to you take, left him. Yeah. Well, I didn't leave him. Our relationship. I left physically the country because I had to take Marissa. Because I, I this had is a born Jason born scenario. I she had, had a chip, chip implanted by the government. That I didn't know about, and then I yeah. got I got wind that they were chasing me. And how are they going to get to me? But through Marissa because she's you know the thing that I care most about in the world, second to my son August Wilson. Oh my God! This so, is like I know you think your journal. life is complicated. I yeah. know. All right. Anyway, we were gone for a year and a half. Undisclosed MIA. locations. MIA. Right. MIA. Right. I totally get That's that. That's why I'm still in school. You know, I was supposed to graduate two years ago. Oh, truly? Yeah. Multiple years. Yeah. Ago. Multiple. Maybe yeah. even more than that. Four or five years ago. No, I've. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm 40. Well, I shouldn't say. So anyway, we're we've we've selected we're going to have a Scottish wedding. It's going to be oh. a Scottish theme. You that say weave, so but great. again, you have not spoken to him. Well, when he's here, it will be his wedding as well. Okay. I love this. This is exactly what Beyonce it's would so do. It's so beautiful. Yes. I've always wanted to see him in a kilt. Great. <clears throat> great. I'm, I'm on board. Can I be the best, the maid of honor? If we had them, you would be. I, I was going to do a whole thing and, and ask you to, to be a part of it, but that's going to come later. All right. I'm ready. And I'm willing, and I'd love to plan your bachelorette. <gasps> Girl, gonna suck on a penis. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> well, it's just bachelorette parties, right? <laughs> how like many bachelorette so many. parties have you been to? Well, you're just in high school, so I've no. Been how engaged do you know? Five no, times. no, you haven't. <laughs> oh yeah, I have. Wait, I got engaged what? this morning to this guy at the swimming pool. No, how you old didn't. Are you? Yeah, I did. I was helping him in the pool because it's one of those lifts. Uh, those sh- anyway. It was I was helping him in the pool. A handicapped gentleman? Uh, no, just big. And um, and it, it, but I'd known him for a while, and he's that one was a joke when he was like, "Will you marry me?" And I said yes, but of course, anyway, he's in the car, and I'm sure by the time I get him home, I'll be married to him because I get to the point I get so swept up in like love stuff. Do you know what I mean? That's like when people so start complimenting amazing. you, you're like, "Oh my god, I do have a neck." Thank you. You know who you remind me of? 
I get, I get this all the time. I know what you're going to say. Kylie Jenner. I get it. Never have had that one. That's cool. Kylie Jenner. Because, you know, she's pregnant or that's what they're saying now. She's pregnant. That's what she's saying. And she's 20 and everyone's like, oh my God, how I'm so jealous of her that she could just go ahead. It's like, yeah. Oh, Kylie. I was thinking of the guy, girl. The young yeah, one. Yeah, the trans. Okay. I no, was no, thinking of her dad. I was like, oh no. my God. Is he having like a, Although yeah. are, that's, that yeah. was a rumor that you had transitioned. Is that Oh true? my God. That is so dumb to me that I, one time I was at a urinal and I was standing at peeing. I'm a girl, but I was standing at peeing, yes. right? And they in walked a in, in a men's restroom. Yeah. And people walked in and there was something This was at a Quiznos. Like, yeah. Because I was, yes, I was, I was having, and I was, when there, there was no, the girl's restroom smelled weird to I me. I see. Got so it. So I went in there and the next thing you know, I'm like, I'm a guy because I have a penis. Right. Right. And that's but not you don't. how gender works. But you don't. No, I don't really. Okay, got not it. Really. Got it's got not it. something I'm. Got it. This, I don't. Is, a, this is what's great mm-hmm. about it. getting in and getting to the real person. Because Alexa, you're like an onion. We got to peel back those layers and yeah. see oh. what's on that meaty in that meaty center. Yeah, you gross. know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. A lot of tears. So happy you're here. <laughs> so Liz, so Liz, um, that's what's happening. Your your wedding bells are are upon us. That would uh-huh. be exciting. It'd be nice to plan. I'd love to start a Pinterest board with some <gasps> ideas. Go Hit for it. it. You know, different haggis. I you can, know, I could pen through your board, but I don't know. I'm not going to actually have an account myself because then they'll be able to track me. Okay. Oh, that's well, got to be hard. Well, we could also just do a physical, like a dream board. I've been asking for us to do that. I hate to think of somebody who can't have a Pinterest board. Are you telling me what the government has done to you yeah. is to a point where you can't even move forward with your dreams of loving somebody that's not here or that you're whatever, having a love and that you can't even have a Pinterest board? That's right. what's happening to that you? That is what's happening. Oh, that True. makes me so, feel So, like, sick. all those slow-cooked recipes, where she's supposed to pin them in her brain? You can't keep that That's kind of stuff. I don't have a home. I definitely don't have a crock pot. If I'm going to cook it for a long time, it's going to be in the corner of my mouth. Do you know what I mean? Oh, God. Just like a... <laughs> That's not a joke. Just like Lex, a, I wish that was a joke. That's not. You can not, cook things in your mouth because, like, like, bad teeth or something. Have, like, no, she's, fumes she's that come storing, of it. right now, we call it chipmunkin. And right now, she's got a couple pieces of di- various meat and yeah. some albacore tuna mm-hmm. that's tucked in the back of her mouth that she heats is— up. It heats up back there. Like— um, And, you know, if you cook it at slow at 98.6 degrees or if you up your temperature because when you ovulate, you get a little higher, you yeah. know? Yep. Um, it's going to cook. It's going to take a while to cook, but it's going to cook, and it's going to be the sweetest meat you've ever tasted. If yeah. I put a raw croissant in there from one of those like rolls, like a, you know what I mean? If I put a raw yeah, that's croissant, that's dangerous. Croissant. That's dangerous. Like, like a, a choker. Because eggs. No, because of eggs. I don't, I'm, I don't know if you want to mess around with it. And I certainly, our listeners at home, I don't want to put that out there. Okay, yeah. I wasn't saying it. I'm not taking this on. Okay, okay I, don't I was want only, you to I was do asking that. a question. You guys brought it up, and I'm not going to okay, go through good. this again. I'm okay. not going through this being attacked everywhere okay. no, I go. No, 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 no. I just feel like you. every Lex. time I get to school, there's something Lex. goes on. It's like, oh, you're the one who took the records from or whatever. Like I'm always some kind of drama going on. I'm not the a part records of it. from. No, I understand, Alex, because I I am the at the epicenter of a lot a lot of drama. Mm-hmm. And I don't cause it. I yeah. don't welcome it. If anything, I'm trying to rid my life of it. Good for you. But so are you. Yeah. I mean, most of the time, if there's a school break-in, yeah, it's if me. somebody goes missing. Yeah, it's me that did it. Your last boyfriend went missing. Yeah. Oh, then it's my fault because he was in my car. And we're the ones who were, yeah, because we're the ones driving down to southern Indiana. Right. Together and, that Right, night. and he disappeared. And he jumped out. He jumped out. And then you never saw him again? What do you think happened to him? I think that I ran over him. Oh, no. Guys, we're going to take a break. She's crying. Wait a second. I didn't expect that. She could cry right away. Can she be prosecuted? Depends on how long ago it happened. Shit. I really like her. I also really want to know where she got those cowboy boots. So let's hope I get that info before the police come. We're going to a break. Wop it up, everybody. Earwolf is now on the Amazon Echo. They just released a new skill for the Echo smart speaker called Daily Earwolf. Now you can ask Alexa to play the funniest moments from your favorite Earwolf shows. Just download the Daily Earwolf skill from Amazon Skill Store. And if you're a fan of Hello from the Magic Tavern, and who isn't, you can also download Magic Tavern Adventure. (gasps) That sounds wonderful. It's a special interactive episode we did of Hello from the Magic Tavern where you can affect the choices we make in the podcast. (laughs) I don't think anyone can affect my choices. I want to interactive. No, Chunt, interact. It it just means that. Yeah, I want to. 
want to enter active. Where's the door? So if you're listening to this right now and you want to say, Chunt, I wish you were not having this misunderstanding, you could yell that at your Amazon Echo and it would happen. Finally, you, dear listener, can help us choose our own adventure. Download these awesome new skills and remember, you can play any Earwolf podcast right from your Echo. New skills, time to level up. New skills, time to level up. Level, level up. I'm bad at being an Echo. Is this going to be your song with Kareem? Yes, this will be perfect. I, I'm going to I'm gonna learn the male part, and I'm going to expect expect him to learn the female part. I think that's absolutely doable. Are you guys going to do like a choreographed dance? Can we go to that tango place? That's hard. Sure. I'll learn Kareem's part, and then when he gets back to the country, a great idea. I can teach it to him. Tonight. I got to learn the words. Have you ever sung this backwards? Behind no, have you? Can you do that? Yeah. Do, I'd like to hear it. I can't do it right now only because I just have my molars taken out. But okay. I normally can. Oh. I've been doing backwards singing, but I don't mean to take away from the your wedding. Why thing. is he saying no one's going to find us? It sounds really dark. We'll leave, we'll leave no trail behind us? <gasps> like I don't think that's what he's It's saying. a little bit like what happened with your boyfriend. Oh. No, he's Except not. she just said that she ran I over think he him. Prob- yeah. I'm fairly certain because I... Um, I don't want. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm tired. I don't want to talk about how. Uh, All right, we'll come back to other there, stuff. I'll talk about other stuff. I'm hoping that that is one of your lies because, Alexa, there is a rumor that what? you tell lies, that you just tell shit that isn't true. Let me guess who told you that? Louis Lord. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. among other people. Okay, because in third grade, she was in my basement and she was stripping like a stripper. Well, in my basement, yeah, my that mother was caught her. her. Talent. That was her talent. Yeah, but my mother, my mother caught her, and ever since then, she's been ashamed. She's been trying to bring me down, and also, I'm she, she, she and I were in swim. The swim. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. We were in a swim class together, and I could float like I'm the human cork. Is what they used to call me in, mm-hmm. in third grade. I was That's the what human they cork. call her now, because she plugs a lot of holes. Oh snap! No, I'm not joking. She plugs holes. Does she what? plug holes? Because women are usually <laughs> with her penis in the bathroom. Glory holes. <laughs> Louis. Lord's I don't know, but my point bath. is that's what she's known. Did you not know that I she didn't stole your? Know that. She stole your name. She's, she's called the human the cork. Human cork, but or she's the human, the human cork. wine bottle or something like that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Or the you know, wine you know, rack. I don't want to start anything with her. I think she's really great. She's a Christian. She works really hard at everything she does. Okay, I know okay. that about her. I know her family, but I also know she's got five tampons stuck in her. Wait, what? There's five tampons Why does she keep forgetting? Yeah. It can't be possible. That she's going to have toxic shock syndrome. It can't be possible. TSS. Well, I think so. Did you go to med school? I'm just curious. Did I? Yes. Did you? Actually. You did? Oh, maybe it's four tampons. Wait a second. Probably not even a tampon. Well, if she's got all those tampons and she's the human quirk, she's having a lot of troubles down there. So you should get it. Someone should do an intervention. That's not right. I would think that you would know having started your period at... The age of five. That was so about tampons. rough. You should have seen my... I always forgot when it was coming. I was like, I've been shot again at five years old. Thinking yeah, you got you shot know, over and over again. Here's the deal. I do remember in kindergarten, you asking to go to the bathroom with your tampon holder and everything. But yeah. there was some Cranes. rumors surrounding that, that that you would what? you know, bring in hot sauce what? to the bathroom to make it look like something had happened. That and can't be good for your vagina. I didn't put the hot sauce in my vagina. No, that you would just my, put it. This is like shorts. a Gone Girl situation. Exactly. Uh, that happened one time because I thought it would be funny to act like I had it when I did have it. I thought, wouldn't it be funny? Here I am having my period all the time, and I'm going to go ahead and act, <laughs> pretend I have it another time. Okay. So one time I did do that, but that oh, was a okay. very that was because okay, of Cinco de Mayo. Okay. What's up with your dad? What's up with your dad? <laughs> What was that about? I'm just asking. I don't know. It just seemed like that seems super aggressive. No, I I don't know. What's up with your dad? My dad's still digging up stumps and doing what he has to do. What what's the He's a he does a he has a very successful landscaping business. He's, he digs and his specialty is he digs up stumps. Yeah. So if you cut down a tree, the hardest part is digging up a stump, which everybody pretty much knows that. What do you want to know about him? What's the deal? Is he does he is he loving to you? Um yeah. He likes to see. He thinks I'm. You is know, that one of your he lies, or is that and, true? My dad is very he likes complicated. To paint you? My dad doesn't. My dad doesn't have any arms or legs. 
And he's has, how is he, he have a, a successful he's tree removal a, business if I he don't is know. just a body? I don't. This is the he's thing that torso. people are always asking me. Your, like, bo- can't, your father is a torso. I've seen him up on one of those lifts. Yeah, how does he get up there I with no they arms strap or legs? Him in. He's got. They put him on a little gurney. He gets to work. He's a little. Heavy. Did he all lose met all of dad. his limbs? We've all met your dad. He the, has. His limbs. I don't. You may have seen him when he was wearing his prosthetics, but normally because that's when he <laughs> went into the stump this. removal is because removing he is limbs. A stump. He's, he's a, a stump. stump. <laughs> Alexa, because you don't have to he, hide here. This is the one place I think I'm, I'm not very hiding. clear. Digging this up is, stumps. This um, is. Listen, let's dig up some emotional stumps, okay? okay. Because I said at I'm the f- beginning of this podcast, "Come as you are." Right. Yeah. This is where we strip down and we lay bare our souls. Okay. 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 We're asking about your relationship with your dad. Okay. Yes. We don't need all of the artificial "quote unquote" limbs that you're putting out there for us. Okay. Okay. I want to know what it's like to be in a relationship with my father. With your father. It's okay. All right. Now we're going to talk about it. Yes. Okay. I'm going to. I'll tell you about. A little bit, and I'm, um, it's better for you to tell it in Italian just because that's my <sighs> native tongue. I know. That's not, yeah, that sounds speak? like, no, that sounds that like what that Super that Mario Brothers would do. No. Papi doesn't know. That's not a dance for me. No. That sounds like that Minions. Me. That sounds like Minions. You don't love me. Alec, I'll make you laugh, Daddy. I'll make you laugh. I don't know. Is this one of the characters that he would have you do for him? Yeah, when I, Yeah. I had to do like because he, he liked Italian. He loved Sophia Loren, and so I had to be Sophia Loren, and so I would do that. Sometimes. Is that why you were modeling at the age of twelve? Yeah. Plus, I liked it. I like wearing really. I like wearing huge, sort of like gen, like very geriatric looking, fitting. like medical looking bras. I think that's to me. It was fun. It's like sci fi, right? Okay. Or like, look at me. I'm a you know like. Where a was your Jane mom and all of this? Um, well, you know, I'm adopted. You are you really? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, my God, that's so clearly a joke. Okay, but everything else you've said is so wild. Are you adopted or not? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm not. Okay, and no. your mom is still currently around? Yeah, she's great. She's great. I love my mom. She's fantastic. She's a really You recently great told a group, I remember at lunch, I wasn't with you guys. I was just listening. I was adjacent. I was lunch adjacent. <laughs> And you told me everybody because your because your your mother is Asian. Yeah, and she you is. said she was the basis for the novel memoirs of a geisha. Is that right? Yeah, that she's the real woman that they wrote about. Yeah, she was. She is. She was. She is. She doesn't change. She was. And okay. she's yeah. How did that How did that affect things for you? Um, it's been hard for me because she's such a she's a whore. old old she's woman. A whore. She's, a, old she's whore. a very old woman. Is yeah. that why you wear so much foundation? I have to because of I have cystic acne, and I also am in the theater. I've been doing a lot of theater, so I have, I'm always ready for stuff like understudies or whatever. If I have to uh-huh. understudy something, just but. a random show like you could be walking by a theater and somebody snag you up, be uh-huh. like, "Here, do Hurley Burley." That's happened to me so many times. Like you would not. Did believe. you get cast in Hurley Burley? You know, Dr. Lionel Driosh is doing a a, a perform a, a musical production of Hurley Burley. At the Brown Bag he Theater was, Company. He was actually doing that like two and a half years He's ago. He's still working on it. What's Hurley It's still Burley? in workshops. Oh. Hurley Burley? Yeah, what is that? I the don't David know that Mamet is. play? Oh, it's David Mamet. Yes. Oh, God, David. Wait, what? You know him? Yes, I know him. How? Because of my, I'm a, because of being a playwright, because I was, I was a playwright for a while. <sighs> you, and he and I what? did like a workshop together no, in New Hampshire. Didn't. No, you did Yes, we come did. Come on. Oh, my God, whatever. I feel stupid sometimes when I'm saying stuff, and then people are like, oh, there's no way you had sex with Neil Armstrong. And I'm like, okay, then I'll say I didn't to make you feel better. But did you have sex with Neil Armstrong? Uh, I yeah. In an uh, anti-gravity chamber? I, because no. that's what you said in science class, apparently. No, I worked at NASA for one summer when I was in Houston, when I was the human cork, and I was doing a tour of the human cork tour where I would float in things that couldn't ha- Anyway, it's dumb. Um, and then I was there, and yes, I was working there at, at, the, at NASA, and I ended up having just, a thing with this him. This is so hard to pin her down. I'm having such a hard time. I thought it was going to be easy. I did, because I there's so what many. you're realizing um, is that it's not. No. You guys, I want you all to come over to my house. Okay. I would love to get in there and see. I live and by see. myself, though, right now. I'm in a condo downtown. Are you sure you do? Yeah. Because somebody saw you just getting on the metro. And then you got off downtown and then got right back on again and came back to Marina Del Rey. You're awfully nosy. You just wanted to go to that city target. Yeah. 
Cause yeah, got, you came back with a bunch of threshold items, and then you went back to your house in Marina del Rey. So do you really have a loft that you're living in alone? Because no one's seen the inside no, of it. I was totally kidding. I oh, said just kidding right afterwards. Oh, Didn't God. you? I went, hey, hey, hey. I can't. I don't know. Hey, hey. We're going to go to another break. I'm going to get her. I got to get to the heart of this one. I do have a boat. Do you want to go dancing? Can't love to hear. Can't wait to hear about the boat. You know what I want? Here, I'm handing you a wet wipe. I'd like you to take off your foundation while we're here. And when we get back to the break, I'm going to see what it feels like without your armor. Take it all off, Gwen Stefani. Take it all off. I've been diving. Oh, yeah, you're getting a gift, Pod Swag, for your mom. You got to get her some swag at PodSwag.com. It's all happening, and you're going to say hey, because they're having a big sale on Black Friday. 30% off, 20% off, 25 all sorts of things that will make you feel alive. It's all happening Black Friday at PodSwag.com. Gifts for your mother, also your mom. Holiday season is here, and so are savings. Get that swag, yo, it's so amazing. Get it, get it, get it for your mom. PodSwag, PodSwag.com. I want to know what you're thinking. Welcome back, Wobsters. Hey, in the break, I got a new lease for life. I I also just had two DiGiorno pizza sandwiches and a blast energy drink. What's cheese in you? What's cheese in you? What? What? What's cheese in you? What's cheese in you? What's cheese in you? What? What? What's cheese in you? Oh, you guys know what time it is. It's time for What's Cheesing You, a segment that is unofficially sponsored by DiGiorno Pizza in that it is not sponsored at all, and those fucking dicks will not send us any free pizzas, no matter how many times we tweet at them. Maybe we don't call them fucking dicks. (laughs) You know what? I'm, again, authentic self. A lot. It's a free advertisement situation. I'm sure we're going to talk about Squarespace when we go to the break. Hey, but guess who gave us a gift certificate? Oh, Baja, Baja Fresh. Fresh. Oh, shout out to Baja Fresh. That's legit and and real. Fifty dollar <laughs> gift certificate. All you can eat shrimp tacos, and I'm not talking about. Listler's pussy. I'm talking about getting shrimp tacos at a Baja Fresh because we talk about the fact that a lot of our our fights have gone down. There's a Baja Fresh not been many of them, but they happen in a Baja Fresh parking lot. Usually a Baja Fresh inside of a larger structure. Structure, parking structure. Right. Order number 49. Right. That's how I used to know it was springtime is that because I would open my windows of the condo where I lived downtown and I would hear the Mm. Baja Fresh down the street that's next to Ross, dressed for less. Yeah. You'd hear like, order number 49. It would come in my windows. And you would know that was that. I'd be like, it's springtime. The windows are open. They open the windows. Yeah. They open my windows. They had to, because they were sealed. Right. Yeah. Because if you're suicide detective. Your multiple suicide attempts. Um, so, Adopted. you know, I got to tell you that when you showed up to school with all those bandages around yeah. your arms and then Tattoo. told everybody that you had had made multiple attempts to kill yourself that weekend. You know, I died five times. I know you said that. And I, I know you also said that the movie Flatliners was based on your real life. And the new series. And the new series as well. I don't know about the series. They would not take a lot of my notes, so I really can't say. Okay, so. But yeah. Yeah. And then we were in, this is before I joined the STARS program, we were in Dodgeball in gym. That was that, yeah. And someone I wrote that p- movie. grabbed one of the ends of the gauze that you had wrapped around your wrists and unwrapped you like a, like a mummy. And underneath, there was nothing. But do you know why there was nothing? Why? Because that's not where I had tried to kill myself. <laughs> where had you, you done it? Why and why would you wrapped yourself up it like done, that? I was, I was on my ankles, and I'd done a lot of the cuts on my ankles, and I wrapped up my arm so that if people, so that people would know that I had done that, because a lot of times suicide is, so, you know what I mean. That kind of those kind of attempts are not known about. All right. And I wanted people. Right. I just want to help out of people. That one again. You got to that again. I'm not trying to get out of anything. I just, I just want to okay. be. I want it. Oh hey. my no, god! No, no, no. What's cheesing this is, you? The matters me hey. so much. Okay. Marissa, so okay. What's, cheesing what's cheesing me? What's cheesing me? All right. As usual, I have done no preparation That's for all this. That's all right. You're all, you're you're ornery. You're riled up. Okay. Okay. What's cheesing me? I'm gonna say. Listen, I've already done this. I, I've already. This is the theme of the day. But inauthenticity, mm. okay? Inauthenticity is what's cheesing me. Let's strip down our walls. Mm. Let's come at each other free of makeup. Oh, I want to thank Alexa for wiping off that makeup because. 
That kabo- without your kabuki makeup, you're a beautiful, you beautiful are. woman. I could see the skin. We can see the skin. We could see how it bounces back. I can uh-huh. tell that you're that, that you're, you're not probably forty-seven, much older well, than we thought you were. Yep, but younger than you say. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what my doctor said. People would say. So that actually thank, makes me feel better. So thank you for coming and being brave. And to all those haters out there yeah. and the people that are putting on airs, we don't got time no. for this. Okay, because no. I don't want your sorries. And if Gutterballs is listening to me right now, Uh-oh. I want him to know that he better come with his dick emotionally hey. hard oh. or I'm not, or don't come at all because I'm not make interested. Any sense. I need, I'm I holding it. out for a hero, come okay? Back. I'm holding out to the end of the night for that. And that hero, by the way, is me. <sighs> I'm the one on that tractor, bitch. Oh, God. I'm driving that tractor, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm doing those gymnastics routines in that warehouse, oh. okay? I'm Kevin Bacon and I don't need no eggs. Kevin Bacon is actually really I've stupid. Lost. You lost me. Part, <laughs> That's it. Part way through there. <laughs> That's it. You did lose me. That's though. it. I'm going to put a tiny me. bit of lip gloss on. I'm just going to put no, a little bit. No, no, but you're. No. St- I have to because my lips are no, cracking you on don't. the corners. No, you don't. I don't feel I right. I want you to stay in it and sit in it. Okay. I feel like I'm going to throw up. What would Oprah do? She, uh, that's not about you, Oprah. <laughs> What's what that? that? What was that? I, you guys, it's never what happened to me that? before. That was Maya Angelou. <laughs> Wait. I'm sorry. She lives inside what? of you? I don't know what's happening. I swear to God, this has never happened Wait. when I've taken off my makeup. One time I took off all my makeup off, and I was, I was um, Mickey. Who's the little Rourke? guy? With, no, not Mickey Rourke. The little Mouse? guy. Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse. I was Mickey Mouse. That's right. I was Mickey Mouse. When I, but I, this is Are the first you time having I took, multiple it's personalities? It's not about you, Oprah. It's not about you. God, that sounded just like her. Oh my God. Oh my. I want to put a little bit of lip gloss on. No, it's too strong keep her for me. Here. No, it's too strong I love, for me. I love you channeling this. Nobody's woman. That's too exactly strong. What we need. Nobody can see you if you don't see yourself. yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's an aha moment. Listen to what they tell you about themselves. That's what's truth for them. That's what's true for them. I just want to put on a tiny bit no, of rouge. No, don't. Please, like, put on I some rouge. I want her here. She's wow. here for a reason. I feel like we're really opening up. I Woo! don't want her here. Some doors. I don't want her here. No, keep her here. Keep her here. All right. What's cheesing you, what's Alexa? Cheesing what's you, cheesing Maya? you, Maya? Maya, what's cheesing you? I don't like. <laughs> I can't. Yes, you can. Focus. I just yes, want to put can. on a tiny bit of my. Don't. What's cheesing okay. you, Maya? This Maya, what's who cheesing you? Are you? Inside. I'm bothered by men who won't open a door for a lady. That's it's right. not about you, though. That's, That's right. not about you. That's right. He doesn't open that door. That's right. That's that not about, isn't about you. you. It's That's true. about your size. It's about what you'll allow in your it's life. It's about what you're allowing. Who's coming to visit today? Yeah, exactly. Who's opening the door today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who's going to use the doorbell, Amazon? Exactly. Leave it outside. Leave it outside. outside. I'm going to have to let her go, you no! guys. I can't do it. Wow. No, that's so I good. cannot wow. do it. I have to. I Dad, can't do put it. Put a little chapstick on. Put a little chapstick put a tiny on. I'm going to let you do that. That was She's so too brave. Much. Wow. wow, Alexa. Wow. You guys. Wow. That is. This is some whew. super soul Sunday up down. in this house. Yes. That's never happened. Normally, uh, I've never had a, um, a strong black lady come through like well, that. Well, let her yeah. come. Let her come. Thank All you. are welcome. All right, Liz, what's yeah. cheesing you? What's cheesing you? <sighs> Sometimes I get in a space where I feel like somebody else can tell me what's right for me. Mm-mm. How is that possible? Well, we're in the self-help section of betwixt the stacks. The sacks. That's yeah. right. We are. Between and betwixt the stacks. And sometimes I look over and I'm like, oh, Dr. Phil has a book. Oh, this asshole has a book. And mm-hmm. so I'll crack it open. I'll read a couple lines. I'll get to thinking, you know, oh, maybe they have the answer. No. But fuck that. Okay? You have the answer. Well, I and think. You. Okay. These books, what, what these books are saying mm-hmm. is that the assumption is I'm doing it wrong. And guess what? No, huh? I'm trying. <sighs> well, I'm trying. I'm doing the best that I can. Yeah. We're all just doing the best yes, that we, we can. Yes, we are. I'm not. All right? 
I know I'm Alexa, not. you are. You are. You're trying no, your I'm today, not. and that's I a know, beautiful thing. No, I'll know there's, I can do better, and I, what I say to myself is, don't. Better no, what? Alexa, better Everything. than what? But that's assuming Everything. that who you are isn't doing good it enough. wrong. Exactly. This is it. You this is show what I've up. always wanted this podcast to knock on to the be. door. Oh, God, there she is again. Knock on the door. Come that's on it. in. That's it. Come you on You open the yourself. door for yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. It's not about you. It's not about you. That's right. It's amazing you keep repeating the same <laughs> phrases. Um, all right, that wraps up what's cheesing you. And God, uh, I feel good. I feel 100 pounds lighter, which uh, would make me 432 pounds. Oh, sounds Should we good. take go a wait. question? Should we just take a question? Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh. Yeah. It's all in me. I got uh, pubes growing out of my nipples ooh, and down my belly. <laughs> oh, oh, All right. You oh. know what I think we should do before we do spotlight <laughs> on? Podcast. I think we should do uh, in me. one question from 23, you and me. Headed for, <laughs> headed, listen, hey, focus on. I think we should do one question from Listener's Love Great. Lockdown. Okay. Listener's Love Lockdown. Listener's Love Lockdown. I understand that for a second, only because I don't speak. So this is where we uh, ask our listeners oh. to write in questions, okay. and then we tell them what we think. Okay. Yeah. I'm really good at that. Ever since I hit menopause, I've been getting answers. Damn it. You're only 16 years old. Mm. All right. So our first question comes from Una Momento. Hold on. Just a second. Got it right you here. You got to load up your droid. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, Listler, I am dating a woman who is a self-proclaimed late bloomer in terms of sex. Gross. I don't know what that means. I'm not her first, but she often states that she is intimidated by my experience. She hasn't had an orgasm, but says we've been close. How do I help get her over that edge? Oh, oh, oh. this, okay. You have- P.S. Please read this letter second as Marissa is never focused during the first letter and her default oh, advice oh. is his dick don't work. <laughs> well, you know what? That was my first going to be my first response. PSS, my dick has with others super worked. <laughs> okay. okay. The Insecure answer. Iron Man. Now, I will say this was sent in February of 2016. As far as we oh. know, this guy's dead. Yeah. We don't know what's going on for real, but maybe this maybe a his lot of dick times, worked back then and it doesn't work now. Let's go, let's work under the assumption his dick don't work. Let's work under the assumption of other people are listening who have the same problem and let's help those yeah. men and also That's their partners issue. who are late bloomers. That's a huge issue. Put a pencil on it. On your wrap dick? it. Yep. Wrap it around. If your dick don't work, you're gonna want to put it, stabilize it. You heard what like you said. Like a splint. It does, it works. Mm-hmm. Super works. Okay. Like I say I said, depend on your balls more. Use your balls. I think there's a lot of guys that's that a think, great idea. my dick's not hard, but what about your balls? Your what balls about are always balls? there. They're always fine. They're How always do you? They're fine. always soft. They're always soft. They're malleable. Yeah, put them in. Do put something them with in. them. Do, do something. Fuzz. Human cork knows what that's all about. I've Yeah, that's what... I told you I was a human cork, right? Yes. God, okay. Yes. You like, are too. Um, yeah, I'm the human cork. That's, she stole it's that. It's not from her. relaxing. Like I can't. Floating is not relaxing for me. It's like a job. Now let me ask this, <laughs> Listler. Let list. What age did you first have sex? Um, intercourse or yeah, intercourse. Uh, I mean, because you know you play around as a young child, uh, uh-huh. and goof around, touch, uh-huh. experiment with your friends. You know, uh-huh. sure. Would you? Um, uh-huh. <laughs> oh gosh. Are you okay? Are you okay? No, I want to. I didn't story. know if that was Maya or <laughs> No, it's or, funny. Go ahead. What'd all you right, do? all right. What? So anyway, I think the first time I had actual intercourse I was 19, the same age as you. Oh, that's all funny. All right. All right. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Did you guys have did you orgasm at the time? Oh, uh, yeah, I've been orgasm. Ah. Uh, she I'm really connected to all of that. I've already had a couple orgasms since right. we've been sitting here. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. That's what I thought you were coughing. Mm-mm. Nope. That was my pussy coughing. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, and I so for for me, I'm a late bloomer. Let's say it. I'm a late yeah. bloomer. You're just a scissor sister right now. I'm a scissor sister right now. I haven't had sex yet. <gasps> and so all that dick don't work. That's just if I'm coming at you with my authentic self. Which you are. That's me trying to protect yeah. my vulnerability, mm-hmm. okay? And guess what? You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry if you've had a lot of experience, you've had none. It doesn't matter. 
Well, you come at, I don't think so, because if you guys are well-matched... The real truth of the matter is she's work. probably worried work. that you're worried about it. So the sooner you say to her, listen... Hey. Whatever happens, happens. I'm having a good time touching you, feeling you, loving right. you. Right. And if this happens for you, great. If you want me to do something different, tell me. Otherwise, we're just going to be here in this sexual space together Ugh. and see what happens. Hey, what was that? What is that? What's why that? Did, why did you sexual negative? space? Like, you're yeah. like, oh, we're in our sexual space now. Here's our space. Let's have sex in it. You're just Not disgusting. a physical <laughs> space. Like, you're just wherever you are having sex, in the woods or in a closet. Oh, my or, God. You guys are disgusting. Alexa, you have told us that you have been through menopause. Five you engaged in Dubai. You got your period, period at five. five. I have. So... But Why, I'm not going to so be like. So suddenly, the the topic of sex comes up, and you're getting all clammed up. I don't know. I just think it's something that's private. I don't think you're going to private. Talk about. You yes. tell us the most intimate details of your life, none of which add I up. I was showing you my inverted nipple for one second because I wanted to ask you if it was something you could put a pen in, and I asked you, and that was the one. And suddenly, I'm a freak. Like I'll show everything, or I'm out there. I talk about everything. I'm not. My body's very, very private, and I've had sex. I've had a ton of sex. A ton of sex. A lot of sex. Okay, the more you say that, the less I think you've actually oh had. Oh, my God. I am having, I had sex on the, oh, I'm trying to think when I wasn't having sex. I guess now is one little break I'm having. But otherwise, I've had a ton, and I do a lot of coming. I come a lot. Okay, and what would you suggest to this to this gentleman? To who obviously it? What? To fake it? What? He no, should that's fake not it? the theme of this show. Uh, what are you talking about? He should fake what? Fake that it doesn't bother him? And 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 fake that. Just be like, you know what? We all we all are trying and and, and have her fake it more to make him feel better. No. I think that if she would this do it, going. if she was more, um, I know for myself that no, that, this is that, the bad, the worst advice we've ever given. Okay, I guess I can't do anything right. I just feel like I want to die. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Full circle. I'm hey, gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be bro, right back. Yeah, right. Let's Come on, add, man. Let's answer one more question. All right. If she comes in okay. to the studio dressed like a mummy we're gonna know i'm not going to i'm gonna i'm still i'm still here i'm not gonna go all right i'm not gonna do it i cannot do that all right wampler and listler husband as i'm sure you're well aware valentine's day is coming up (laughs) oh shit we missed that one 2016 this isn't right this was (laughs) where are these people oh god i feel like our sheep we've let them you know out in the wild I'm Have what they you all might been call by wolves. an old married lady. All right. I'm going out to dinner with my husband for Valentine's Day since we don't have any DiGiorno's in the freezer. All right. And have been debating passing him my underpants under the dinner table as a way to spice things up. Okay. Oh. Did you like, does that look infected? <sighs> have either of you tried this out? Or do you have any other ideas for how to add some spice to a married couple's V-Day? Maybe something that involves underpants. Well, underpants? I don't wear any. This is something I've not spoken about, but I wear an umbro, Mm -hmm. a man's extra large umbro Mm -hmm. with a tankini top most days. And I'm not wearing on anything underneath that because I like to let it breathe. Mm -hmm. So that I've never been in that scenario, but I think that that's, that's sexy as hell, right? That's like in the olden days where someone would say, I filled your dance card. You know, you're, you're giving them a, a balled up. You know, sweaty panty. I think what most men fear most is rejection. Right. So what you're telling him from ahead of time, are you going to be okay? No, I just, you did that just really That was an aha moment. Yeah, I just had a moment of like. To you or to Maya? um, To, uh, no, Maya's not, I just put on some mascara on my right right eye so she won't be coming back anymore. Okay. I'm still. Okay. (laughs) Um, So when you say at the beginning of the night, hey, guess what? I'm a sure thing. There's no barriers here. Here. They don't have to put on airs. They can be them their authentic selves because they know at the end of the night, it's still going to go down. Right. right. That's why I don't wear any because I'm like, hey, anybody wants to have sex with me, I'm available. Interesting. That's, That's what nice. I'm trying to put out there. That's very holiday spirit. As, as of now, no takers. What holiday is coming up? Who knows? Who knows when this will we need. I think that um, that handing your underwear to somebody – your underwear, right? Is what she was saying? Yeah. Not her panties. Um, if you hand your underwear, Same thing. if someone's like, can you hand me, like, do you, can you hand me my, I think I dropped my napkin and instead you <laughs> wad up your your underwear and you put it in their hand and they go to wipe their mouth with it and it's your old underwear. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> and then and I've done that with, I use my underwear to wipe off my, um, the front of my car, my windshield when it steams up. And then you put it back on? Yeah. I'm not going to go without my underwear. That's how I got 
I have like five condoms stuck in me. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're wrapping up that Listler's Love Lockdown. But you need to get that checked out. If you want, Listler will take a tweezers up there and get rid of that. I'm serious, right? You got, got a tweezers? There's She's a lying. cage bird. What? That's She's a lie? Lying. How do we know? All of these things are, are cries for help that I may go I have lived a life. Here. I have lived a life, man. All right. Way we're going to take a break. When we come back, spotlight on. What? I'm exhausted. Alexa Krabbel. All right. We haven't done that? No. No. <laughs> it's a weird choice. You prefer something else? What is Paul this? Simon. How is this following in theme? I thought this was The Lion King. It no, is. No, it's Paul Simon. This is, no. This is not Paul Simon. No, he studied with those lions in Africa. And he, no, he did oh. You've not seen him in a concert when the lions come out on stage when he's singing? Yes, I saw that. Yeah, that's amazing. Were you there? Yeah, I was there because I was there because of he wrote that song, Mother and Child Reunion, for me. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Here we are in Spotlight On. Now, for those of you who are new to listening, Womp It Up is my podcast project, okay? And this is about training me to be the next Barbara Walters. That's right. Okay? This is about showing off my interview skills and getting down to basics, okay? Now, everything leading up to this has been foreplay. Oh, okay, Alexa? Okay. So get ready because we're going to go deep and we're going to go long. I may have to go. What? Only because my, my ride, my mom is here. <laughs> okay. But I, I'll go. I can stay for a second. You only I have, have three minutes. I have a doctor's appointment. I have three minutes, okay, to get down to your most authentic self. Okay. okay. So let's go. Okay. Let's go. All right. You want music? Yes, please. Okay. I thought I heard a horn honking. No. Oh, that's my stomach. All right. This is right. Oh, yeah. This is Spotlight on Alexa Krabble. Step. Alexa, what? I want to start from the beginning. Okay. Why am I already crying? Great. 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 We can wrap this up. Yeah. God dang it. We can wrap this up. Okay. Okay. All right. We're. This was spotlight on. That was spotlight on. I'm so sorry. This was spotlight on. Wonderful. That's all I needed. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys have been listening to Wop Up the Jams. (laughs) Wop it up the podcast featuring Marissa Wampler. Thank you so much, Alexa. Oh my god. For being with us. That was an ace in the hole. Hey guys, Wopsters. (laughs) Stay real. Stay authentic. Come as you are. I don't want to be If you want to reach alone. us, you can email us. I don't want to be alone. Womp up the jams exactly. with a Z at gmail.com. And we'll write back or read your questions four or five years after we receive that email. Yes. Womp it up, everybody. Oh, I can't read. I can't read. I can't she can't breathe. breathe. I can't breathe. She can't I'm breathe. breathing too much. I think I'm breathing too much. I thought she said she couldn't read. <laughs> she can't breathe is what she's saying. I can't read, though. That's funny you said that. Okay. I really can't. All right. This has been an Earwolf production. Executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Hey everybody, it's Paul Shear. And I'm Amy Nicholson. And we have a brand new podcast called Unspooled, Unspooled, where we are watching the 100 greatest films of all time. Voted on by the AFI. We're going to be starting at number one, Citizen Kane, jumping to number 100 with Ben-Hur, and doing films that we've never even watched before. And we'll be talking to experts, whether it's a cinematographer or a stuntman. We're going to get behind these movies and figure out what makes them so great. So if you like the way this sounds, why don't you subscribe right now to Unspooled, wherever you listen to your podcasts.